you like.
The center of the target's called the bullseye. If you land a dart there, it's called the bull. I know because I looked up the rules online last night. Anyway, this game's called Zero One. You win by getting your score all the way down to zero points before the other player. Oh, so you're not trying to get a high score, but get rid of your score? That's pretty different. We both start with the same score. Then you lose points based on the number on the board where your dart lands. And you can only win if you get your score down to zero exactly. You can't even be off by a single point. How's that sound? Pretty sick, right? So you have to be able to calculate your score properly while making sure you hit the right numbers on the board. This game seems like it takes a lot of concentration. <laughs> One point? Come on, you have to straighten your arm out more and... Hey, Ryuji, what's up? Ah, I was just reading this flyer. It says, darts is a party when you play in pairs. You team up with someone and alternate throwers when it's your turn. You still use the same rules I told you, though. Hey, what do you say we give it a try? Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. Whoa, a bull right off the bat? Man, talk about an exciting opening! Here goes! Don't underestimate an ex-athlete! Hell yeah! Triple 20! Whoa! He hit such a tiny spot! Quite impressive, especially for you, Ryuji. We're almost down to zero points. Let's really focus for this last round. Woo -hoo -hoo! Zero points right on the dot. Oh, ain't we badass? That's no easy feat. You really do have something special going on. Man, this is so fun. When you're on the line, the pressure's insane, but it makes you want to do your best for your partner. On the looks on your faces, I'm guessing both of you got something out of this game. Even if it is just a game, it can be some kind of training, depending on how you play. <laughs> well, I do always have the Phantom Thieves on the brain. Let's keep practicing together here. Uh, oh, let's invite everybody next time! Man, all this just from me asking you to meet me here? This is like... Ugh, you know, one of those strikes of good luck. 
A stroke of good luck. Why would it be a strike? Who would protest having good luck? Ooh, what's that? Oh yeah, they have pool here too. Hmm, this game could be useful too, depending on how we look at it. Yeah, it's already pretty late though. We can come back and play it later. Ah, and don't forget, we got a couple free tickets to play today, but next time you'll have to pay up. But it was super fun, right? Ah, oh, I really want to play again sometime. Well, we should head home for the day. Thanks for hanging out. Hey.
Everyone. You. Close up. Wow. <laughs> well, then. How are things going in regard to that matter we spoke of earlier? I have nothing to report yet. Nothing at all? How many students are there who could provoke a teacher? I've already narrowed it down. I just can't get any solid evidence. <sighs> you knew, didn't you? About Mr. Kamashita sexually harassing students. What will come of you asking that? This investigation is for a just cause, correct? I believe I understand how flustered this must be making you. I'm sure it was truly shocking for you as student council president to see a peer attempt suicide. Yes. We must provide a school environment where all students can feel at ease. That is the most pressing issue we have to tackle at the moment. So that's your reason behind this investigation on the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? We don't even know if they truly exist. Why are you... You heard about the incident with that Matarami fellow, I assume? They said there was a similar calling card to the one used in Mr. Komashita's case. I wish to believe that this is unrelated to our students. Yes. That is where I stand. 
I suggest you devote your energy to the task at hand, not unnecessary questions. <laughs> Did you see Matarame's press conference? You mean that guy who was all like, how could I possibly apologize for what I've done? Ah! Think it was really those phantom thieves? You know, the whole stealing your heart thing? That? Uh, there's no way. But then again, it seems too convenient for it all to just be coincidence. Yeah! How's it going? Have you found our next big target? I just started looking yesterday. No way I'm gonna find one that quick. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. By the way, I decided on the TV station. What about you two? Huh? Oh, crap! The social studies trip! Oh, I just want to ditch it. You'd better go to your school activities. Didn't I tell you not to draw attention to yourselves? Wouldn't me suddenly turn it into a good student stand out more? Quit bickering and go. Then let's all choose the TV station. I heard we're gonna get to watch them tape a show. Maybe there'll be actresses there. Oh well, not like I got anything better to do than waiting for info to come in online. Plus, Morgana's right. Showing up will keep the teachers from getting all suspicious of me. All right, I'm gonna head back. TV, huh? Maybe I should get a haircut. That guy is such an idiot. I hope nothing happens. Are you listening? No, man. <laughs> hey. surprise it's really pouring down isn't it I thought something like this would happen so I snuck a collapsible umbrella into your bag well you do carry me around in your bag all the time I've got to show my appreciation somehow well see you around I forgot my umbrella. But it's fine. I'll barely get wet if I run to the station. If anything, it'll make for good training. Huh? But how are... Oh, are you offering to share your umbrella? That'd be wonderful. Thank you so much. Thanks again for letting me join you. To be honest, prelims are coming up soon, so I didn't want to take any chances of getting sick. Yeah, that's right. 
two huge competitions are coming up. One at the beginning of summer, and one near the end. If I'm going to participate in the prelims, I have to be selected as my club's representative. And there's a qualifier meet to determine who that rep will be. It's my dream to compete in gymnastics on the global level. So, I plan on maintaining a strict training regimen with my coach. I'd be invincible if I had you cheering me on, senpai. <laughs> oh, we're already at the station. I'll be fine from here out. I can't thank you enough for today. I swear, I'll return the favor some... Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? You mean the honors gymnast? She gets the VIP treatment at school and a boyfriend to escort her around? Miss Special Snowflake sure is living on Easy Street. I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to deal with a misunderstanding like that. Yeah, you're right. The same thing happens in class, too. People are often wary of me because I'm an honor student. The school's expecting me to attain strong results in the upcoming competitions, too. They even told me I didn't have to participate in the cleanup event. But I just don't like getting special treatment. Oh, excuse me, my father's calling. Hello, Dad? What was that? Uh, sorry, my phone's been acting up lately. It's okay, thanks. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Sorry about that. He asked if I needed a ride since it's raining. A bit overprotective, don't you think? Yes, I definitely agree. Well, I have to get to practice, so it's time for me to go. Thanks so much for today. Excuse me. Seems pretty rough. Aoyama Ichome. This is Aoyama Ichome. Train doors are now closing. Please stand back. Aoyama Ichome. This is Aoyama Ichome.